so many of you have opinions about my ex-boyfriend, but this was a good one. I don't think he ghosted you. I think he was overwhelmed and maybe a little scared to face you. And here's the best part. You can be intimidating while being the sweetest. No truer words. No truer words. I get it. Uh, I can be intimidating. I think that comes from the fact that I generally speak with a lot of confidence in what I believe. I'm a very passionate person. That can come across as I know it all. We all know I don't. But I don't know shit. Okay? I'm just a normal girl uh, who is not a psychiatrist or a psychologist or a therapist or a licensed anything. Okay? I'm just brave enough or stupid enough to share my journey with everybody here. My emotional journey of personal growth and what I'm learning. Also, I was raised by a really outspoken woman, a uh, single mom, who still to this day can be very intimidating and people listen to her. So um, I get your point, 100%. I'm taking note. And thank you for calling me a sweetheart. I do think I'm a sweetheart. I love people. I love making people smile and be happy. And that's probably a trauma response from what I'm reading. <laughs> that it's called the fawn response. And the, you're a people pleaser. And you're trying to fix people and please people and make everybody happy to be in control of the situation. Yes, I know I'm that too. As far as him being maybe overwhelmed and maybe a little scared to face me. I get that too. I mean, I don't know what the truth is. He hasn't reached out and told me what the truth is, but I see your point. Life is not black and white. People is not, are not black and white. Relationships are not black and white. It's not one or the other. As a matter of fact, my therapist used to tell me that there's never one reason for why you do anything. There's usually about 20. <laughs> why anybody does anything or says what they say. So this could be the truth. I just might not ever know. And that is what I gotta get used to. <laughs>